Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to successfully use Remote Joy, and that if you don't know what that is, it's where your PSP screen appears on your computer screen. Now, what you're going to want to do is first go Google, and then just type in Download Remote Joy 1.52. Once you've done that, click on the first link, and you might have to register, but I recommend registering because they have a lot of cool stuff that you might want to download as well. Just download that and then um, just save it to your desktop or just open it because it comes in a WinRAR and just extract all of the file contents to your desktop then once you've done that you want to get your PSP and then you want to um, turn it on and go into USB mode and then once you've done that go in this folder this PSP FW 3.XXOE folder just go in there, double click it, and there will be two folders, PSP link and C plugins. You want to copy both of them to your memory stick. So you go in USB connection, and once this loads up, I'll show you what to do. Um, the PSP link goes in game. I'll just show you now. Um, so you go into PSP game, up here, game and drag PSP link in there. I've already done it of course. Um, this is a great program. Um, it only works full screen for laptops usually. So um, computers you might have to use a window. C plugins, um, you just drag that to the root of the memory stick. Now I've got a lot of plugins but um, all you need to copy is them for that you get in that folder. Oh, and you need to copy the game.txt as well, otherwise it won't work. Um, then once you've done that, you need to quit USB mode. Then you need to go to game, and there should be a program called PSP Link. Click that, and if it says corrupted data, you've obviously put it in game 150 or something. Make sure you put it in game. Um, just click on that and it should say PSP type B. Um, once you've done that, just say I'll choose a um, I'll choose a folder to um, install it from and then choose this driver folder right here and that will install all the drivers for it and then PSP type B will be installed. Once it's installed, um, you click on Remote Joy GUI 32. Just mm -hmm. click OK to both of the warnings, and um, then you want uh, you, you don't have to start USB OSFS. That already starts usually automatically when you connect to the device. Um, what you want to do now is start PSP host, and then you got to wait a minute until it says host zero. Usually it says it straight away, but my computer is very slow so just one word warning another thing is that um, if you reset your VSH and it does and it just freezes you have to set your kernel to 3.4 because I had that problem I didn't know what to do and I just set it to 3.14 and it worked so once that's popped up you just type in percentage load VSH and press enter it should then reset your PSP and come back on as PSP type B again and then it should recognise it. Once that's done, um, you simply type in percentage load joy, press enter again, and then what should happen is if you click on without FPS, with FPS it doesn't really matter, just click on without FPS for now. What happens is usually it'll be a blank screen, if it is, just press F3 and then it should appear. It should appear then if you press F3. Oh. My computer's a bit bodged up, sorry about that. Ah, it's not responding. Hold on a second, I'll just get this working. Ah, there you go. Alright, um, so what you want to do here is once that's done, you can just uh, show off your theme and all that stuff. You can play music, you can actually use your keyboard as well to control your PSP like I'm doing. It's a bit muddled up though. You can configure your um, controller for it as well instead of the keys if you want to do that. But
but it takes ages to load up stuff as well. You can't play games this way. And that's exactly why you have the C plugins folder and I'm going to show you how to do that now. Uh, the bad part is, is you're going to have to keep re-enabling and disabling plugins but apart from that it's quite good. What you're going to want to do is just um, go on recovery menu and that's hold R down and reset your PSP so I'll do that now. Then once you've done that you want to just go down to plugins and enable both plugins. It should have PSP link.prx brackets game and it should have remote joy prx brackets game. Once you've done that just enable both of those and then disconnect disconnect your USB, take your USB out. If you don't then it might jam up your PSP and it will just destroy all your games. Then you want to start a UMD or ISO or CISO and I'm just going to do it with uh, Virtual Tennis 3. Some games only work when you start a level, other games work as soon as you start the game. So I'm just going to show you that now. So let me just load up the game. Okay, so then you just want to, you don't have to reset the SH this time, just type percentage, load, joy, enter. Once you're that, without FPS again, if it doesn't show up, press F3, and then your game just should show up on your computer. So there it is. If you want audio as well, you're going to have to get a special cable. But apart from that, um, you've got your games and your XMB on your computer. And as I says, and as I say before, full screen only works on laptops, unfortunately. Um, but I can't use this camera recording software on my laptop because I've got Vista installed on it. And don't update if you go going to because it's not that good at all. Um, XP is a lot better and it can play more games and stuff. But um, yeah, this program is great for PSP. Um, so I recommend getting it and follow this tutorial. And uh, thanks for watching, really. And I'm just going to play a bit of tennis on remote joy. So thanks for watching.